Hey everybody, today Rado previews a prototype of Nunga Parbut. But before I begin, please turn your subtitles on to the Klingon channel so that if I'm making rules goofs, you know what they are. And to, uh, of course, I am not Rado, I'm Shay Parker. I'm helping Rado cover even more games, and today we're looking at Nunga Parbut. So let's take a look at what we got here. Now this is the mountain of Nunga Parbut. It's in Pakistan's ninth highest mountain in the world, I believe. And we are playing as communities of Sherpa who are bringing hikers up and down the mountain, uh, setting up camps, trading, uh, trapping and trading these animals all in the service of points. Uh, we're going to be going back and forth, taking, uh, placing hikers and grabbing animals into our player boards. And uh, on our turn, we can uh, potentially score some points by laying some camps, uh, trading some animals, either all the same or all different. And once we do that, we'll be going up on the score track. We're going to keep going until uh, both players have run out of either all of their scoring cubes or all of their hikers. Once both players have run out of uh, one of those things, then we will end the game, we'll count up the score, and whoever has the most wins. But what's important is the placement of our hikers determines where the next player can go. So I'm going to show you what I mean. Now I've got a two player game set up. This is only a two player game. So I've got my left brain and my right brain set up as pink and blue. Um, and uh, pink is going to go first. So uh, blue has decided to place this guide on the six location. So I need to choose one of these places to send a hiker. Let's say I'm going to go to the top uh, here. So I drop a hiker down. I grab this uh, musk deer and I put it on my player board. Now, uh, some of these animals have special abilities that I can use on my turn. I'm not going to do it just yet, but I have it for the future. Now, because I have gone onto the one space at the top of this small uh, section of mountain, I move the guide to the top section of the mountain. As you can see, this entire mountain is like a bigger version of each one of these smaller ones. So whenever you place uh, a hiker, that tells you where the other player is going to go next. So we moved the hiker to the top, and now as the blue player, I need to determine where I want to send my hikers. So I look at, at all of these guys and I think, well, okay, so we're tied uh, at zero, of course, at the beginning of the game. So maybe I want some points. I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one of these red pandas. Whenever you grab a red panda, if you are tied or uh, have fewer points than your opponent, you immediately just get a point. So that's all well and good. Um, it also has determined where this guide is going to go. It's at the bottom. Uh, of this top triangle, so it's going to go to the bottom of the mountain. And now it's uh, it's my turn. My uh, my turn. I can choose if I want to. Like right brain there has taken this uh, that red panda. So if I take uh, another red panda and I go here, I would get a point as well. So I'm going to do that. I don't want to be uh, behind right off the gate. So I take a red panda. And now instead of getting one point because there's only space for one cube on each of these. Uh, scoring spaces, I leapfrog to the next space. So I've placed my hiker, we move, whoa, move the guide over, uh, as you can see, goes to number three, right there. And now, okay, so there's no red panda, so I can't keep playing that game. I think it's time to, to really focus on what, what do I want to do? Well, I've got this blue guy here, and these uh, each of these sections is connected to the other ones by these dotted lines. And that's good for putting down tents. So I think maybe I want to start working towards getting a, a quick um, quick bit of points through my tents right there. So I'm going to grab this, uh, this yak. So I grab a yak. I put uh, my worker, my, my hiker right there. That's going to go up there. Now, I might be worried that uh, Pink is going to grab this space, which is going to block me. You need at least three hikers that are all adjacent to each other in order to set up a camp. So if Pink wants to do that, then it can. It can. Um, I could block this in a way because I now have a yak. And a yak, uh, the ability of the yak is to move the guide to any space that I want. Uh, you can use these animals at any point during your turn, even after uh, immediately after getting them. I just slide it down and then I would move this hiker to another space. But I don't think I want to do that just yet because that's probably going to be more useful for me later on down the road when there's fewer options available. So I'm going to leave it. If they want to block me, that's fine. Um, we'll, we'll see how the chips fly, how the chips lie, how the chips lay. You, the, the chips will do a thing and we'll see what they do. Uh, so I'm going back over here and now I'm thinking, yeah, I think, I 
think I might want to go for that. The Yak, or sorry, the uh, Baral um, is pretty good. That acts as a wild animal whenever you are trading in uh, animals. So I think that might be a good one to grab. So yeah, why not? I'm just going to grab that real quick. I get a Baral. Um, so now if I want to, I could trade in these three animals and uh, they are all different. So I would get to put down uh, one of my scoring cubes on the trading three different animals, and that would get me five points. But I don't want to do that just yet. I think I can get more animals together, and I haven't used the ability on this guy yet. So it might behoove me to uh, actually use it first, get some benefit out of it, uh, and then trade it. So for now, I'm going to leave it as is. I've done a, a block there, so I feel okay about that. And now we're back to the bottom. Um, the bottom right and go back to right brain. All right, so I've got, uh, got a number of spaces. I could grab a red panda, then I'd you know, have a couple red pandas. I'd also, uh, if I grabbed this one, I would block what could potentially be a big pink camp right there. I'd get you know, points for the red panda and I would start working up a collection of them, which would be good for uh, trading equal numbers. And there's nothing really that's, that's helping me out a lot as far as camps go, so I think Let's just, uh, let's just go with that, why not? So I'm gonna grab that red panda, uh, which gets me a point, but since, again, you can't be on the same space, I'd leapfrog ahead. And that was bottom left, so we move the guy over here. All right, so again, I could pick up this red panda, and I might wanna do that partially just because we're kind of running low on them. I don't want, the, uh, I don't want blue to, to collect a lot of these because if they get a lot of them then they can you know trade equal number of animals and could potentially have a big payout for that so i don't i don't want that quite so much so it, it feels a little weird to be keep leapfrogging on these red pandas but again similar to how uh, blue is feeling on the bottom right there's not a lot for me uh as far as uh tent space but uh, the other thing that I can think of is I already have three uh, different animals, so I might want to start getting some of the animals that I don't already have. Uh, I could get a snow leopard, I could get a, uh, a tar, um, or I could get a yak, and those yaks are pretty good. I think, um, you know, I think that uh, I want to get, I want to get this this tar. I think. Um, Tars let you swap around people and animals, and I think that might be useful later on. So I'm gonna grab that real quick, snatch it up. I've got four, but I don't really have to worry about uh, blue beating me on this one. So I'm, I can afford to slow roll this uh, scoring strategy, and I'll go, over to, um, I'll go over to blue, who is going to be at the top. All right, so. I see a thing here that I can do. I want to put down tents, and to put down tents, I need to have at least three meeples next to each other, three hikers. Now, I I am kind of blocked by the pink uh, pink hiker right there, but if I take this uh, snow leopard, what I can do is I grab it, I immediately use it, uh, which allows me to swap two adjacent hikers. Now, these two are considered adjacent because they're con connected by this line. So I can swap these two. And now I have three hikers that are adjacent to each other. So I'm gonna cash that in for some quick points. Uh, when I do that, I uh, grab my hikers. Now these are out of the game. These, these hikers are done. Uh, they're not in my supply anymore. Um, so I don't get them back, which is gonna be important for ending the game, but that's okay. Uh, I still have plenty left. So I've grabbed uh, a, a, three, um, a three tent camp which gives me four points. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. And because I placed it on two, I'm gonna move the hiker over to two. All right, so blue got some points, that's okay. The, the three tent is not that big of a deal. I mean, there are two uh, three tent spaces. There are two um, columns for scoring three of something. It's just that the second column is less valuable. But I'm not too worried about it. Again, the thing that I'm working towards is getting animals of a different type. And so I am looking at snow leopards and uh, I'm looking at yaks right now. I think I'm gonna grab the yak. 
Um, yaks are good. That pushes this back up here. I'll grab that yak. So now I've got five out of six. As soon as I can get a snow leopard, I'll be made in the shade. And, I, and I'm certain that I can do it because I have so many of these animals that I haven't used any of their abilities yet. So we're going back to right brain. We have to place in this top section, but there's not a lot that we want up here. I mean, as far as tents go, we're kind of blocked out. We blocked ourselves out um, by putting these tents. You can't combine uh, uh, hikers with already placed tents. So I could grab uh, one of those uh, red pandas. It would get us closer to having a big set of that. Yeah, that feels good. I could also grab the tars, but uh, right now I don't feel a big connection to those. I think, you know what? I think I'm gonna grab, sorry, I'm gonna grab a red panda because I want, um, I wanna work on this set since I've got some of it already. And also, the more of these I get, the fewer that uh, pink can get. And since pink is currently behind, pink is the only one who would actually benefit from that. So I don't get any points, but I do stop pink from getting points by, by getting these. And because I am in the space that matches uh, the bigger location that I'm in, it stays there when we go back to left. Um, now I've got, you know, just these two locations. It's a tar, which is not helpful for me. Um, I already have that. What I want is a snow leopard. And there's, uh, so if I want to do this right now, there's two ways I can do it. I can either uh, use my yak to move the guide to anywhere. Um, and then I can grab, you know, I go to three or two or four and grab one of the snow leopards. And that seems pretty good. Um, the other option I could do is I could use my musk deer. This allows me to swap any two animals that are anywhere on the board. So I could say swap these two if I wanted to. And then um, I could grab this uh, snow leopard, which would put uh, a pink meeple right next to another one that I already have which could be pretty useful. And it would force the, the blue player down to the bottom left. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna spend this, uh, this musk deer to swap like I did. Then I'm going to place one of my hikers uh, in that space that gets me snow leopard and drops it down here. Now, I want to uh, trade all of these in for the big payout, uh, big points. But I don't have to right now. I can do that in a later turn. At any point, um, or sorry, at the end of your turn, you can do uh, a trade action or a camp if you have what you need for it. And I have what I need, but I haven't used these abilities yet, and I want to. Now, I'm pretty sure that I'm not going to be challenged on this on this scoring. Um, I know that uh, Right Brain only has uh, or still has three locations that. Uh, that they don't have animals. So I'm not worried. I'm gonna hold on to these for now because I know that I can get some good usage out of these animal abilities. And they can keep on scoring the little points. I don't care about that. I want maximum efficiency with maximum points. So I'm gonna hold on to these for now. Now we go down to that bottom left and I could, if I don't want uh, Blue to, to put anything down here, I could you know move uh, the guide with my, with my yak but I don't think I do. I, I don't think there's, I mean, I think I know what they're gonna go for. Actually, yeah, now that I think about it, I know that they're looking at those red pandas and there's a red panda there. So I'm gonna use my yak to uh, move the guide somewhere else, somewhere there, where there aren't any red pandas. I think, I think I'm gonna go up here. There, there were two spaces that I was looking at. I was, oh, actually there were, there were three. Um, I think two and three are pretty equally good. I don't want them to send me uh, back up to the top because then I would just have this one space left and that's not terribly appealing to me. So if I go to two or three, they can't uh, push me anywhere because uh, my my pink hikers are blocking that space. So uh, I'm just, I'm going to, to, th to three. I don't have a strong reason for that versus two because they're, they're pretty similar as is. Um, I think I'm going to three because I don't want them to block what I'm really working towards is this long, uh, potentially five or possibly even six hiker camp that I'm, I'm working towards. I'm really playing the long game here. So I'm gonna push them there. Now, uh, I, all right, so what do I've got? I've got three red pandas and I want more. Now they did push me over here, 
which is not ideal. However, I do have this yak, and I think I'm gonna use it. I, I wanna use things quickly so that if I ever trade them, uh, and I don't feel bad about it. Um, now they did make me use it when I could have potentially used it in a better way in the future sometime. I, I don't know. I'm not gonna think about it too hard. I'm just gonna grab this red panda. Again, I don't get points for it because I'm currently winning, but that's okay. I still get, uh, I have four red pandas now. If I can get two more, I have a full set and that's gonna get me a lot of points. So I, I like the idea of that. That's what I'm working towards. And because I put a hiker on the bottom right, guide stays where they are and we go back to the left. Okay, so that's not, that's not the worst thing for me. There's nothing that I specifically want out of this group, um, but each of these animals is good to have. Uh, Must deers are good for you know always getting the animal that you want. Yaks are good for moving so that you can get the placement that you want. I think I want the yak because I want to. I want to be able to place in one of these locations when I need to. So I'm gonna go for the yak. Go right there. I have another yak, and that pushes it to number three. Again, holding on to these because I still haven't used these yet, and I want to be able to if I need to. So going back to right brain, I. Well, I don't have any powers uh, available because I've used all of these, and I uh, I want to I want to get more red pandas. I don't have those, but I've got these two barals here. Barals are like wilds when you're trading in, so either of them will do well for me. And I think I want to go to the bottom. I can kind of see what what uh, pink is doing here, so I don't want to just let them have that by going there, which gives them even more spaces to connect that. So. I'm gonna grab this five space, gets me a brawl. Now I have effectively five red pandas. I just need one more and I'll have the full set. And that pushes it down, down to here. All right, now I'm looking at, I'm looking at some stuff. This is, this is not where I wanna be. I, I wanna be up here. I wanna be able to do this. So I can spend that yak. Ooh, well, okay. So I can spend the yak to get where I want to start placing uh, right away and that'll give me this but uh, there's there's two options there and, and they're a little risky because it, it positions uh, the blue player in a position that I don't know necessarily want them to be where would I want them to end up if I could if I could push the blue player up here that would probably be the most useful for me but there's not a lot of great ways to do that I could grab the yak which is cool and I have three that's not the worst thing but Again, I'm, I'm, I want to get to this. So let's try playing the yak and going up here. Now, okay, I have an idea. This will stop me from getting a huge payout, but it will be kind of a guaranteed thing. I'm going to use my, uh, my tar to swap an adjacent hiker and uh, animal. So I'm gonna grab these two and I'm gonna swap them and now when I take this tar, that has given me uh, a four space tent. It's gonna keep the uh, hiker in this location where you know, they are not gonna be able to do much, but, but they'll be able to grab these snow leopards which could eventually mess this up. So I kinda wanna secure this right now. I'm gonna grab this four tent camp these guys get lost. I'll put four tents down. And this isn't, you know, I could I could probably uh, try to get a bigger bigger tent, but there's so many things that you can do to, to mess with the positioning of the hikers that I, I don't want to risk it. So I'm grabbing this four-person tent. That gets me five points, which is just enough to go one, two, three, four, five, and then six. Uh, getting that leapfrog, is it always feels kind of nice, you know. Because I, I, I should only be getting five points, but I get six because I've done it at the correct time. Uh, now the guide stays at two, and we're trying to figure out where we're going to go. Well, that's not ideal. Um, I don't, I don't love the position that I'm in right now, and I don't have any animals that I can that I can affect it with. So the question is, do I want a snow leopard or do I want a musk deer, and where do I want uh, pink to play? I, I don't have strong feelings for the positioning. I, I can't quite see a, a 
terribly strong spot. I mean, even if I go bottom right, pink will be able to play here, but you know, that's it's a three person tent. I don't think that that's what they're really gonna go for. Um, it also gives them a brawl. Well, everywhere they can go, they'll, they'll get a brawl. So that's less important. So now what I'm trying to figure out is what do I want? Do I want another snow leopard? I don't think I do. I think I'm gonna wanna start branching out to different types of animals. It means the only option for me is this musk deer. And I'm gonna grab that, put that there, puts the hiker at number six. I feel okay about that. I really just want one more brawl so I can get a six of the same type trade. Um, and as of right now, I can't do that, but now that I have this musk deer, no matter where I am next turn, I'll be able to trade that, get, ooh, I could get a brawl or I could get that red panda. And I'm behind now, so that would actually get me a point. Okay, that's that's my plan. We'll see if I'll, I should be able to do that because I have that brawl. So uh, go, going back to left brain, I think, see, they're getting close to having six. They have five, and I don't think they're going for that, but they might do it just to, to spite me because I am going for that. And if they do that, they'll still have three red pandas. So this turn is the turn that I got to do my big trade, which means it might be uh, a good play for me to, to try and swap some some kind of uh, meeple interaction, though I don't see anything that's particularly useful for me with that. Uh, at the very least, I need to place one of my meeples. I can grab this must here. That'll give me a, a three-person tent spot. If I ever need it, I'll know that that's there. Um, and then maybe I could build up that way if I get lucky, maybe. I could go for this brawl because brawls are always good to have. I still have that three and I'd have a wild for future trades. That that feels like the right choice and it, it doesn't exactly, oh no, it does block uh, the three person tent for the blue. So yeah, let's go with that. Let's go grabbing that brawl and now I have so many things. It's time to get rid of some of them. So let's go snow leopard, tar, musk deer, yak, red panda, Burrall, I do a full six animal trade. Uh, let's put them in the little animal graveyard, trade yard. They're not dead, I promise. Um, and I got full six of different types, so that's gonna give me eight points. Uh, I'm at eight, so that pushes me up to 16. So now I've shot ahead, but I also know that, that Blue's gonna be able to get some points soon, so uh, it's a, it's a short-lived victory for now, because I, I know that they're gonna be able to bounce back. So let's see them do that. And I'm in a position, I can get uh, this Baral if I want to. Uh, that's gonna get me those six. I think though, that I wanna try and do two things. I wanna position uh, Pink to place in a, in a spot where they aren't going to be um, terribly beneficial. And I wanna get maybe that red panda. So I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone by uh, pushing down that musk deer. I'm gonna swap this red panda for this yak. And I will grab the red panda into my collection, which pushes this guy all the way up here. And now they only have one space where they can put it, uh, which is gonna force me into a place where I wanna be. And yeah, that feels, that feels pretty good. So now while I'm here, oh yeah, and also because I grabbed the red panda and I'm behind, I get a point. And now I think it's time. I'm gonna sell all five of my red pandas and my brawl to get six of effectively the same type of animal. That is gonna get me nine points. I'm at eight uh, plus nine is going to be uh, 17. So I'm one ahead. Ooh, this is interesting. I could go for this, uh, this one that I just did, or I could trade all five of my red pandas and keep my barong, and I just do a five trade. If I have five equal, it's gonna be worth eight points, but eight points would land me on top of the cube, which is gonna get me that extra point. And I get to keep one of my animals. So even though I don't think I'm gonna be able to get back to the six uh, equals, I also don't think that they are either. We're about in the mid game, mid to late-ish game, so they're not gonna be able to, to capitalize on that open space. And if they do, I think they're gonna suffer for it because they'll uh, lose sight of everything else. So I'm going there, which is going to allow me to keep the brawl, which is gonna help me for later trades. Now, I do have four animals that are different, but you can only score once per turn. 
So let's, let's kick it back to left brain and see what we got. All right, well, this is not ideal. Um, I, I have to go there. So I, I, I don't really even need to, to worry about choice here because I only have the one space. Uh, I could use my tar to swap those before I do it. And, but then if I did that, that would mean that the guide is here. And if there are no available spaces, then the next player gets to choose where the guide goes. And I don't want to give them that choice. So I'll, I'll take what I got. I'll just grab that tar, put that there, and then force the guide over to the three spot. That's okay. I see now how this is kind of good for, for right brain here uh, because if they grab this, uh, this Baral, they've got four spots in a camp and they just get one more, they'll have five and that's gonna be pretty tricky. How do I block that? Well, there's one way that I can do it right now. I've got these two TARs. They swap an adjacent person and an animal. So if I spend both of them, I could swap this person for the Snow Leopard and then this person for the Baral and then that is just gunking up those works right there. It's not like it's an amazingly beneficial uh, move for me, but it does block what could potentially be a pretty big swing for blue. So I think I think that's wh where I wanna go. They don't have any, any tars. They could get some, but uh, for right now, that's, I think that's a good play. I think that's the best thing that I can do in the moment. So let's pass it back over. Come on. Come on! You just let me camp there. Rude. All right. All right. Fine. Fine. Uh, okay. So that's not great, but it's not the worst thing. I I can still there's some still some good things here for me. I could grab this uh, snow leopard, which uh, I don't want to play it right away because I don't want to give away my hand. But what that would do if I were to get it would be it would allow me to swap these two back if and when I want to score this. Or maybe I could do something else with it. But if I do that, that'll push uh, pink up to the top and then they could go wherever they want. Again, that's not something I want to let happen. The other option is I could grab one of these tars. Uh, I don't want, I probably don't want to grab this one because then pink could put something there. Well, that's only four. And we've already used the four camps, so that might be okay. If I put it in this space, that just gives them another opportunity to block me. So I think if I'm gonna go for the tar, I think I want this guy. And in the future, I'm thinking, so here's my future plan. If I can get another hiker right here and also have a snow leopard, then I'll be able to swap those two around and then I'll have that five camp that I was aiming for from the beginning. If I can pull that off, I think that'll be good. If not, well, I'm not in a great position, but I'm still, Still ahead a little bit, and I've got a, I think I have a better animal situation going on, so I feel okay about it. So let's pass it over. Uh, oh yeah, and we'll go over down here. Now again, only have the one, uh, one place to go. That's that's kind of a good play on Blue's part. If you if you force uh, your opponent's hand, it, it can feel a little, a little frustrating. You only have one spot you can do. So I'm just gonna go there. I grab this, uh, this musk deer. It's not helpful for this thing. I, in order to score over here, I'm gonna need, ooh, if I can go, if I can get a hiker there in the future and then swap them, then maybe I can do that. Or here and then swap these two. There's options. It's not gonna be easy, but it's possible I might be able to beat uh, Blue to that space. But for now, I went to two. So going back here. And we bring it back to right brain. I've got, hmm, okay, so I've got two options. Both of them are snow leopards. Uh, if I take this one, that's gonna put pink here, and again, they'll be able to block me. I don't want that. So I think the option, the best option is to grab this one on the bottom here, and that pushes uh, the hiker down to five. Now, I have five, I have five animals that I can trade, and I, I probably want to. The question is whether I wanna do it right now. It's often better to, to score when you're behind if you have the time uh, to do so and if you're not worried about, um, about the other player beating you to it. But I know that pink could score five uneven uh, or different animals because they have that 
musk deer, they could swap something out for snow leopard that gives them five of kind or five individuals and that would block me. So now is the time I want to use it, which means that if I want to get something out of this, I have to do it now. And I think the best way for me to do that is to just do this. I haven't guaranteed myself this spot and pink is going to know if I get there that I'll get a big payout out of it. So they're going to try to keep me from it. But they well, who knows if they'll even be able to do that. So I'm going to use that and then I trade five animals. I got five different animals. That's going to get me oops. Uh it's going to be seven points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'll pass it over. And now, all right. So yeah, as pink, I'm seeing that. That's a problem. I need to keep them away from that. Luckily, none of these spaces are actually gonna get them that you know bonus. Um, I there's now there's not much stopping me from trading in four animals that are different. Uh, maybe if I can get ooh, or I could trade in four animals that are the same. And here's now like when I want to count up scores. So if I grabbed let's say this barrel. Then I could trade uh, two brawls and two tars for four equal. That'll give me seven points, which can be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm. Seven's not enough to get me past, which means that it might be more beneficial to do that. Ah, it's tricky. Might be that I want to go for that six, that equal six. I know it's a trap, but it might be the best way for me to actually get ahead. So in order to do that, I'm going to need these bar uh, these brawls. So I go there. That pushes the hiker over here. And this uh, is not, oh, sorry. I need to, to do a trade first. Actually, no, because I'm going for the, the big boy trade. All right, yeah, I'm gonna leave that, pass it over. And while this isn't exactly where I wanna be, it's not bad because I can get yaks. And when I get yaks, I know that I'll go where I want to go. So I'm gonna grab this one because yeah, it pushes me, or it pushes the uh, the guy to a place that I don't really care that much about. Oh, even better, I'm, it pushes it there, pass it over to the left, we'll see what happens. Uh, okay, so here now I need to place on this one space. Again, I can't get anything um, out of that, but I do have this, uh, this musk deer, I can trade animal for animal. So at the very least, I'm going to, grab a barrel so that I can get a little bit further on towards my goal of getting uh, four tars. So I swap those two out. I grab the barrel. I'm one away. This does force that there, which is exactly what I wanted. Uh, so now I get exactly the spot that I wanted. I get that barrel, which is a problem for left brain and it's good for me. And now I have a six tent space. I grab all of these hikers, put them to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, six tents, seven points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And uh, I put down on four, which pushes this back over here. Excellent. This is exactly what I wanted. And I don't think, well, okay. So it does push left brain into the, into the spot where they can get that six, but I think I'm far enough ahead that I'm in a good enough position that I don't need to worry about it. So let's see how it works out. Okay. Well, this is still the best, the best move for me. Um, I don't have a yak, so I can't get that. I don't have any abilities I can do. So I think the best move for me is just Take this guy, and we're running out of hikers. We only got the one left, so I need to move quickly. So I grab that, that's gonna move this up here, and I spend these three, and those uh, three as if they were the same. Gets me nine points, 16 goes up to 25, and it goes back to right brain. Now, because there's the hiker in that full space, I can move this anywhere I want, and I think the best thing for me is to get uh, either a uh, tar or musk deer so I can fill up this four uneven space. So let's say, uh, let's say we're at three. Um, I'm gonna grab the tar, place that there, and I've got four. So I'll grab these for four uneven. 
uh, animals. That gets me six points. And I have a pretty commanding lead, uh, so pass it over. And because I grabbed this uh, an this and one in the three space, that stays where it is. Which means that uh, the pink player left brain stuck with only one choice. <sighs> Got to take it. Take that. I get what little score I can get by trading the three uneven animals. Gets me five points, but right brain's got it. Ha ha ha. Oh, and this is actually the end of the game because left brain ran out of hikers, right brain is out of scoring cubes. So there, uh, as soon as left brain took the move, that was the end of the game. Uh, right brain doesn't get to move, place that last hiker, but that's okay because we won with uh, 37 points as opposed to 30. And that is Nanga Parbat. If you want to stick around for the final thoughts, click on the uh, link in the top right corner or click on the link in the show notes below. And I will see you there in five, four, three, two, one.